Lads and ladies, last weekend I managed to do a world famous, never before been done, except by a lot of other Sora managers, third threshold win in a row. 337 points, so it was clear as day. I was still a fair bit short of breaking into the tier 5 brackets, unfortunately, but hey, we'll take the Ethereum. We're not greedy here at Royal Livy Incorporated. A nice £40 to add to the account there, and naturally I got my captain choice wrong, you know, as, as an idiot Sora manager would. The Lord and Saviour, Zian Fleming, not getting on the decisive sheet in a 4 0 win against the worst team in the championship, Sheffield Wednesday. So that was really unfortunate, all things considered. But I'm just here emotionally for Kayembe and Sarlija getting on the score sheet as they don't often pop up with the goals at that end of the pitch. So, you know, that was that was really fucking nice. That resonated with my soul. They provided the magic that I needed and, and the fans are happy. We're, we're winning the money. We're all having a good time. And right now, we're currently in the midst of a really exciting international break. So I thought I would take this time to go through my upcoming plans for the EPL winter competition. My upcoming plans, I think I meant my plans for the upcoming competition. You knew what I meant, fuck you. So yeah, unless you've been living under a sober rock, you'll have seen that this winter competition is kicking off on return from the international break for 11 game weeks requiring four 23 slash 24 EPL cards to enter. Uh, this is a limited level, of course, where I've been scouting recently as I currently don't have the capacity in my account to enter this competition. My only EPL card from the latest season actually is this Raheem Sterling that I won as a reward a while back. And, you know, that got me thinking about a Chelsea stack. That, that could be a good idea. They're somewhat getting better at football, so definitely worth considering. But, like, the thought of paying £45 for a limited Conor Gallagher did not resonate with my soul. So I scrapped that idea pretty quickly, and I then went out and actually sold Raheem Sterling for £35. I then thought, you know what? I'm an armchair Arsenal fan. Got the shirt here up the Sober 7s. You know, check it out next year. But it was just similar to Chelsea. I just don't think it's cost-effective to buy an Arsenal stack right now, you know? And, you know, I'm definitely shooting myself in the foot by going weaker during this winter competition, but I just don't want to spend 250 quid on four Arsenal limited players. You know, it's a stack that I've had my eye on before the winter competition announcement, and you know, it'd be a lovely team, but I'd rather skip the expensive players during this winter spell and maybe consider picking them up after all is said and done for a much cheaper price. And naturally, due to the announcement, the newer EPL cards on auction have pumped up in price. Clearly now is the worst time to buy them, but uh, you know, what choice do we have? We're here for a good time, not a smart time. So I will be getting involved in some capacity. You know, will my cards decrease in value by 50% once the winter competition is over? Uh, yeah. Do I give a shit? Yeah, a little bit. So now I'm gonna have to use my big old fucking brain here, the thought process being that if I'm going to go towards the weaker and cheaper end of the EPL spectrum here, then I need to be smart with the fixture list. Obviously, play to the weak team strength. So I've got this handy little spreadsheet here on Excel. Everyone loves a good bit of Excel. And I've indicated how favorable the fixture is for each team. Gray means it's a good fixture. Gray means it's an average fixture. And of course, gray means it's a tough fixture. Uh, I'm kind of blind, okay? But all in all, the main standout options here are Fulham and West Ham United stacks. And, you know, West Ham have shit strikers and an expensive midfield. So I guess Fulham is the stack I'm going to go for in the winter competition. Oh, fuck me, man. That is... That is grim. But fuck it, here's the team debating whether to splash the cash on the latest season card for Leno. Needing only four cards from the latest season, I can sub in my 22 slash 23 Pickford here. But I'm just not thrilled with this option by any stretch as Everton's fixture list over the 11 game weeks is kind of fucking tough considering how shit they are at football. You know, they have to play United, Newcastle, Chelsea, Tottenham and Man City in this spell. So uh, Leno may be an inevitability here. Castagne is then the defensive option. Looking at Sarah data, we can see his scores are quite bad while Fulham are on a bad patch of form. But if we scroll down a bit, we can see they jump up a bit when Fulham do better against weaker opposition. Naturally, as you'd expect, there's there's nothing groundbreaking here. It just goes hand in hand with Fulham having a few decent fixtures, so I think he's a solid, cheap option. Midfield, there can only be one Paulinia, especially if he ends up leaving for Bayern Munich like he's being linked with at some point. He bangs great scores and no doubt he would do so over in Germany as well. However, he is suspended for the first game back from the international break, so Iwobi or Pereira will be subbing in there temporarily. Forward spot. Fuck me, I struggled with the word temporarily just then. But I smashed it that second time, so that's... That's nice. Uh, yeah, what the fuck was I saying? Forward spot. Yeah, this is a bit more tricky with Fulham. Uh, I mean, William is the standout choice, but as the most expensive and at 35 years old, I'm probably just going to fucking avoid him and grab like a fucking Jimenez and Carlos Vinicius for much cheaper. You know, I'm assuming either one of them will be starting as the man up top. 
And now all I need is that extra spot, which again looks set to be filled in by either Awobi or Pereira. We know with Harry Wilson as an option as well, depending on play sharper lineup predictions. So yeah, all in all, I'd say this lineup is uh, it's pretty fucking shit. Did my door just fucking open? What the fuck? That wasn't a bit. That's just opened on its own. That's spooky i don't even think i have to be completely done here right as we can enter multiple teams in this winter competition so you know i'm thinking of stacking one of the three teams that are set to be relegated so you know luton sheffield united or burnley and looking at the fixtures again burnley's don't look too terrible for a team as bad as they are and they're the kind of team that if they got relegated a lot of their players probably aren't good enough to find the premier league club straight away so they could spend a year or two dossing around in the championship which you know, it could be nice come August, so that's something to consider as well. So, you know, stay tuned for my exciting Burnley stack on the next episode of the of the Road to Glory. Oh, fuck. Christ, I'm struggling here, lads. So we're going to finish off with a few teams I have for the weekend. And don't worry, I've already made them, so you won't have to watch me fucking spangle them in live. So let's just fucking get to Cap 240 Limited. A fairly decent team here that should be pushing higher than the threshold minimum pick for just starting at least one game for England. So, you know, we would expect a 60 with a clean sheet against weak opposition. Sutalo and Mayher should get the nod for Croatia, especially if Kovic is out injured in that midfield. And then Jonas Wind has two games to play. Again, Hoyland is injured, so I believe he'll get some chances over the two fixtures. And then Soriano coming off of a goal last week for Ibar should do all right. So a decent team here on what will probably be a very high scoring week in Cap 240 Limited. Second Division Europe, full Ibar and nothing else to see here. Aketske is the main man. What the fuck is that name? Uh, he gets some banging scores though. And if Ibar are firing on all cylinders, then this has a strong chance of pushing high up the leaderboard. Obviously lots of other La Liga 2 fixtures going on. So there will be some tough stacks to compete against. But hey, I back the Ibar lads to do well here. Cap 270 is getting a bit less ideal here. Unsure whether Turim's going to have starting chances or not, although Play Sharper has him at about 50%. I've got some other strong players here, but, you know, a lot needs to go right for this to be successful. As I say, the international break does bring some high scores across the board, so it's going to be tough. But we've got the lineup out there, and then my final team, All-Star Limited. We should rename that to All-Shit Limited because, because I think this team is quite shit. But hey, I've got the players. Uh, we're going to get the team out there into the server Ether, and, and you never know. We can't write these lads off completely just yet. Uh, but, but I'm going to, so fuck it. Fulham till I die. I'll catch you next time because I love you.